if I want to give you a, a, an encapsulated summary of this talk, I could say if you want to be successful in the corporate world, if you want to be a successful businessman, if you want to earn a, a good living, halal living, then the first thing you need to establish in your life is Tawheed. And the second thing is being dutiful to your parents. And then everything else comes afterwards. Many people don't have their priorities set straight. They begin with the technicalities of the areas pertaining to the corporate world, the same way the disbeliever approaches those matters. They look at the logistical problems, they look at the challenges in the world, discrimination, you know, so, so many different things that are happening in the world. And they approach it as the kuffar do, while being completely oblivious that there's something called tawfiq and barakah. There's something called success that Allah grants you and blessings that Allah gives you. And this tawfiq which Allah grants you is that whatever position you acquire actually becomes pros prosperous for you. It's not that you've merely accumulated more wealth in your bank account. It's the fact that this wealth is actually prosperous for you. It is beneficial for you. It is getting you closer to Allah. It is helping you establish yourself as a better Muslim, being more in control, taking care of your family, taking care of those who you are in charge of. This is how you look at it. This is the tawfiq and barakah is that even if your salary is not exactly the largest or the greatest in the company, you're able to do things with your salary that people that get double or triple the salary are unable to do. Why? Because those people are void of the tawfiq from Allah. They're void of the barakah from Allah. Why? Because they're dealing with Allah Azza wa Jal on business, on business terms. The same way the kuffar deal with Allah on business terms. And there's absolutely no tawheed, no sincerity and no concern for the parents and the family. So I would say to you, if you really want to strike gold, the first thing that you need to do is establish Tawheed in your life. Be a Muwahid, a person who worships Allah Azza wa Jal alone, who associates none, none in worship with Allah. You have no minor shirk, you have no hidden shirk, you have no major shirk. If you don't know what these are, I cannot explain them right now. You need to refer to uh, another lecture of mine. Uh, you can find it on YouTube where I discuss what is Tawheed and what is Shirk. Then you will understand the three the important aspects of those matters because there are different types of shirk. Uh, I think one of the lectures is uh, shirk undercover. Watch my lecture on YouTube titled shirk, shirk undercover. And then you understand uh, what shirk is and how you need to eliminate it from your life. <laughs>